Fight fans, this fight scheduled three five-minute rounds to be a catchweight fight at 163 pounds. Introducing first this man fighting out of the blue corner, standing five foot nine inches tall, his official weight 161.4 pounds, his record unblemished. Four wins, no losses, three of those wins coming by way of knockout or TKO, representing Bazooka Kickboxing in Toronto, Ontario. Please welcome Matt Special! His opponent across the cage, this man fighting out of the red corner. Standing 5 foot 11 inches tall, his official weight 162.2 pounds. Representing Fight Factory in Ottawa, Ontario, and tonight making his pro MMA debut. Please welcome Mohamed Adu. When the cage door closes, your referee in charge is Ivan Schmitz. Three five minute rounds, a catch weight contest. That special in the blue. Ahmed Adu in the red. I got a feeling this is going to be a fun fight. Two kickboxers. So. They both so. look intense. This is going to be awesome, man. I'm we want excited. no wrestling. No. We want no grappling. We just want strikes in close or from the outside. This is like a one championship <laughs> Muay Thai yeah. MMA gloves event. We got the circle and everything. That's really nerdy, Mike. Like, <laughs> I love it. If you were going to bet on who was going to throw the first leg kick in this fight, it wouldn't have been a do, but there, there we have it. Wow. Lightning fast. And he looks big. A do. Yeah, but Spech is thick, man. Yeah, he is that's right. dense. He looks like, yeah. He's a muscly guy. He's got big legs. I'm intimidated. A do trying to get a reaction. From Special, looking for that left hook. Oh, there's that low kick yes. you're talking about. You would imagine Special will continue to target that lead leg, and there we see the kick once again as the dude goes up high. Desiel hasn't fought for some time. He said that he was going to have a smile on his face this whole week because he's so excited. And also told me that since his last fight, he's been training exclusively orthodox until this fight camp. So he's been really working on the other side of his stance. We've seen a lot of guys switch stances tonight. It's kind of becoming a common theme in MMA. Just so many more tools when you can fight out of both stances, right? Matty Spesh reminding us it's not a kickboxing fight. There's wrestling involved That's too. Right. Level change. There's a nice body lock here against the fence. But he's got that underhook though, he's picking up. Picking up that body lock, bringing it up the back. Splits the grip. Head position, Matt. Which are the other, other Head underhook? fighting here. Pummel in, pummel in back, Matt. This fight shows you how stacked this card is, that this is on the undercard, That's right. right? Middle, like, this middle, is a good Matt. fight. I'm surprised Head it's not low, on the main card, but then you look at the rest of the main card, and you're like, this Head card is stacked. Middle. This is the featured prelim. Featured prelim. And you would well. imagine that Special is considered one of the country's top prospects. You're 4-0, you train with an elite team, you get a big victory Legs here. 5-0 is quite impressive. Yeah. Legs are narrow. 245, man. you gotta win. And you gotta look impressive. Hips in, hips in, hips in. No, looking Kick off and turn. Trip take town, perhaps. Yeah. Look for the level change if you can. Look on the exit. Put it back, Matt. Put it back. There, a nice knee up the middle. Why a Look for that down block, Matt. Down block and, and escape out to the left. Uh, big shots here, but he's chipping away, Ado. He's, he's landing Two minutes, little knees to the body, little knees to the thigh, and might not be one big shot, but throughout a 15 minute fight, those are going to add up, so it's a good choice. Change levels. Especially really round the cage. Yeah, you see that cage bend <laughs> yes. on that. Where's that high crotch, Matt? Hey. Head position, head position. I would love to be in the mind of Matt Special to, to understand his strategy at this stage. Use that underhook. Doe trying to tie up the legs once again, trying to use his physicality. Keep your head higher, Matt. Matt had told me he started to really fall in love with the grappling game. And he says if the fight goes there, he's more than happy to take it there. It looks like he initiated it. There's a 
nice level change. I think he slipped across and landed in uh, a, a body lock and walked a dude to the corner. Yeah, dude still staying busy with those knees to the thigh, chopping away at the bread basket now. Yeah. He looks good. It's pro debut, right? He, yeah. looks, he looks calm out there. He looks. He's doing a good job. It's a pretty even fight so far. Nothing crazy has happened yet, but he's. Looks like he's, he's taking his time, he's not rushing. And he's really getting Special to guess. He doesn't know if he's going to attack the body, or if he's going to go up high, or if he's going to continue to engage and look to get a trip takedown. Yeah. And again, that could be the product of this being a short notice assignment and not a lot of tape on Muhammad Ado. He, he can't really find any anymore. Yeah. It's always interesting to, to wish you could hear inside the mind of a fighter, because yeah. you've got Matty Special's 4-0. Right, is this extra added pressure to him that he's like, this guy doesn't would, even have a fight. Like, I'm 4-0, yes. what happens if this is competitive, you know? Or is he thinking, he's like, oh, I'm 4-0, I can take my time, I'm gonna smash this guy. This guy's right, never right. even fought, you know? Right. It's interesting. But as a fighter, Mike, one of the things I've been told is that you want to get your opponent out of there as quickly as possible. So if you have <laughs> hey. a path to victory, you want to use that strategy. Yeah. You want to be there, in there, the least amount of time humanly possible. Yeah, it's great to get experience in the cage and everything, but, you know, this is not the gym, man. You, yeah. you learn new skills and iron them out in the gym. You use the best skills that you have in the cage. You, you use your A game whenever you have. You don't play with your food. Ado jogging back to the corner. Looked like he really had a great time oh, in there yeah. in round one. His, cor his corner brought the stool in, and he said, Ado <laughs> think so. <laughs> I'm interested to see what they're talking about in Matt's corner because that round was more competitive than I think they probably think it should have been. Yeah, that was a close round. I don't know who won that round. That was razor close. Most. Okay, so we've got Spesh knees up the middle here. Yeah, there's a lot of knees in the clinch there. I was, I was probably the biggest standout of the round for me was Adu's knees. Just he constantly was kneeing the thigh, which again, over 15 minutes might add up and take the legs away of a, of a guy like Matty Spesh. I think if you're looking at it from a damage standpoint, though, an impact, the, the judges, I imagine, would lean towards Matt Special. Yeah, you're probably right. Dude looks confident, though, he right? Does. He does. Did. Absolutely. He didn't He didn't take a seat. It doesn't look like the, the pressure of the moment's getting to him, you know? He looks ready. And if I, I would imagine his corner say, you absolutely belong here with this guy. Yeah. The, who knows the, what the judges are thinking in that first round? Obviously, his conditioning is sound. He looks like he's ready to go. Yeah. And his genetic abilities, he has those long limbs. Will he be able to utilize those more effectively here in round two? Well, it doesn't even really look like he's breathing that yeah. heavy. Neither one of these guys, really. They both look, they're, look, both look like they're in great shape. Go trying to get a reaction. It's one, two. Adon's got a great frame for this division. That, yeah, he does. He's a long guy. Trying to counter off of a kick by Special. Targeting the inside thigh. And you're right, look at the thighs of Special. Just massive. But the balance of Ado is really incredible. Leg position, project, body, project. Like you said, Ado's got those long legs, especially L might be having a hard time lifting them off the ground. Like, look at where their hip lines yeah. line up. Yeah. Especially L going back to that low kick as advertised. Oh, nice body kick. Special staying on the outside. Ado constantly hunting, moving forward. Inside, outside attack. A nice jab by Ado. Inside, okay. A very competitive battle here. Right under the arm, that armpit area, that doesn't feel fun. <laughs> Absolutely not. Nice cross landed from Adu. And you have to be impressed with the composure of a doe. Like, for a guy that has never been in there in a professional sense. No, he looks good. He looks like he belongs in here. 
Especially against a good guy, like you said, this isn't some tomato can they're giving you for your first fight. It's like, this kid's a tough prospect. People are talking about him. Oh, oh nice cross. Biggest shot of the round yes, so far. Yes, indeed, maybe the, of the fight. Yeah. Nice uh, jab again. His counters have been very on point. When Matt's throwing those low kicks, you're seeing that Adu is, is not shying away from countering. Yep. Adu looks nice and relaxed. Wide-eyed, too. Yeah, he's very focused. He's not missing anything here. Good distance awareness as he evades that low kick. And it's one of the things I've heard in many gyms is you have to have good sight. Yeah. Oh, that was a tricky high kick. Two minutes, Matt. Let's get on the wall. It's almost like the dough is really uh, it pouring it on, so to speak. Yeah. Showing more tools from his toolbox. Right yeah. I think he's taking over this round. Yeah. I mean, Special opened up with some nice low kicks, but I think the dough is. Oh, just as I say that, yes. nice overhand. Right yeah. That, Looked yeah. like he might be rocked. Oh, yes, he is rocked. Oh. He eats another left hand. As he smirks. A dough smiling. Yeah. Oh, Special winding up. This fight's not disappointing at all, man. This is great. <laughs> Mike, when you're in there with somebody and you hurt them, you know you hurt them, and they smile at you, what's going through your mind? I'm like, you liar. <laughs> Dude, don't lie, I got you. Or the, it's the, it's the shrug off, like, oh, that didn't hurt. I'm like, bro, come on. If it didn't hurt, you would have said nothing. We've got the king of that, Bobby Green, tomorrow yeah, That's right. right. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's great. He's super weird and super effective. Nobody really catches that guy clean. And you almost think that he is impervious to pain. Yeah. It's like Justin Gaethje. It's like, did these guys get hurt? <laughs> yeah. On the wall. Yeah, those are some those are some intimidating guys. Gaethje especially. Another nice oh, overhand oh, left and another oh. overhand left. A doe in big trouble here. Special, nice. does he sense the finish? A doe trying to slam those knees into the body. I think Spesh is coming back and taking this round back over, you know. He felt like Ado is taking over mid-round. Spesh with those overhands, though. He's found a mark for him. And that right hand continues to, dr to drop for Ado. And he can't afford that. Because his lights could be turned out. A desperate good attempt. Idea. But good idea, yeah, you know, it's sure. a close round. He, you know really still could go either way. He's like, maybe if I get this takedown, judge will sure. see it from sure. me, right? I think those overhands from Matty Steph sealed up the round. Court. Sure. I think they were by far the most damaging. I think they should. I think they should. But you never know. Yeah, you and never just know, at right? the end of the round, to be able to get a takedown like that could be huge. I'm not saying that it is, but it could be. It could be, and it could also be huge for his state of mind. Yeah. Just knowing, like, okay, I got, I got stung, but I can take you down. Just putting that in Matty Special's mind. Like, hey, don't open up too much, because this takedown's here, bud. Well, the only thing about that takedown the judges will gauge is the impact in which Matty hit the ground. Sure. That's what they're looking for when it comes to a, a late takedown. Yep. If they're going to score anything, it's the damage off of that takedown. Which it impact. was an aggressive takedown. It it's not as if he just laid him down as we look back at round two. You don't see that as being uh, attributing to grappling and cage control? Well, case control rarely comes into play when it comes to the scoring criteria. That's part of the secondary criteria, which 99.9% of the time, judges don't look at. They're looking for damage and impact. So a takedown in and of itself is just a change of position for the most part that needs to be used to accrue damage. So unless there's damage in the takedown, like I think there was in that last yes. one, because there was some impact when he hit the mat, yeah. the judges aren't really weighing that. Like the way Matt Hughes used to take people down. Oh, yeah. He picked them up and slammed them down hard. Th those are damaging takedowns. Yeah. Third and final round. Very competitive contest. Oh. Special trying to find a home for that left hand. Okay, find that left hand again. How do you guys have it so far? Entertaining? <laughs> I'd have, I have Special up two rounds, in my opinion, but again, kind of close rounds, and I think we're going to see at the end of this fight whether he did enough in those two rounds. But he looks right now like he's, he's not going to be denied. Yeah. I think he's going to chase the finish here in the third. I think you're right. I think Special's probably up two rounds. He knows he's at very least got one, so he's looking for that takedown, looking to get on top. Seal this round, 
Yeah. If you're Muhammad, though, you need to be happy with this performance, win or lose, sure. against the guy who a lot of people think is on the cusp of making it to the UFC, and you're hanging with him. Head position, come on the right. Let's go. Changing levels, but Doe preventing the takedown at this point. That's a tough thing with MMA, like you said, Aaron, where it's like, oh, you know, there's, there's, there's no losing here. This guy's really good. You know, if you, if you make it competitive, that's a win. It's like, but yeah, the record is so important in MMA that, like, it's, you know, even though it's a competitive fight, you never want to have a loss, right? There's no sure. losing. Like, sure there is. It's going to be on your record forever. I, I will tell you, though, in my experience, that's not why I fell in love with mixed martial arts. True. Vanderlei Silva, Donald Cerrone, and countless others, it did not matter what their records were. It yeah. was the beauty that they gave us with the combat inside the cage. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of fighters lose their pro debut. Chris Cyborg, I believe Hennon Burrell sure. lost their pro debut. Yeah, right. You can bounce back. Oh! Speaking of which, <laughs> look at this! And if there's a wow. stoppage! Unbelievable! Oh. Muhammad Ado! Whoa! Upset City right yeah, here in Mississauga. Go doesn't need to worry about losing that pro debut. Wow. Man, what a performance. Unbelievable. Wow. I honestly did not think that things <laughs> would materialize the way that they did. I, fe I felt that Special was on his way to victory. Whoa. And this that is the problem. You want to fight. He's yeah. been on the shelf for a long time, but you yeah. take a short note as opponent, you know nothing about them. Yeah. Things like this can happen. Yeah. Bonkers. Man, that was awesome. That was wild. Muhammad Ado with a TKO victory in round number three as we look back at how it all transpired. Wow. I guess not. I guess uh, <laughs> we'll get there. We we'll get there. the respect between the two guys. Right, Ado goes right over to the corner, says thanks for the fight, hugs his opponent. You know, great to see Matty Spesh up on the stool already. Like, he looks like he'll be all right. But, man, that was a beautiful head kick. we got to get that replay. Holy smokes. You know, we talk about losing your debut, and then suddenly, yeah. just out of nowhere. I mean, that's what happens in MMA. These things can change on a dime. It's like a... This is oh, it. Oh, wow. A little bit reminiscent of the uh, Leon, Leon Edwards. Edwards. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Down a couple rounds. We're like, oh, you know, he's, he's given a valiant effort. Boom, head kick. All right, to make it official, we'll send it up to my man, Don Andrews. Fight fans, referee Ivan Svech has seen enough. One minute, 58 seconds in the third round for your winner by TKO, Mohamed Ado. The belief was strong. Mohamed mm -hmm. Ado never gave up.